Okay, let's talk internal routing. Uh, so this is one of my favorite parts of the CSL because it sort of turns it into this landscape, soundscaping instrument um, where you can sort of eschew pitch and think more about sound texture. Uh, so the way it works is we've got some internal assignments accessed from the index button here. If we hold it down, it turns white, and then we can push some other buttons to make stuff happen. We have an index knob here. So let's start with, I'm going to take the final output of the top oscillator. Okay, so there's our sound. And let's be a little careful with the volume here. Okay. Now, <clears throat> if we push the index button and the mod button together, what we've just done is assigned the sine wave of the lower oscillator to the um, wavefold button or slider of the upper oscillator. So nothing's happening because we have an attenuverter here that has to be addressed as well. Now we've got rhythm, and we can control it with the pitch knob of the lower oscillator. And we can get into some crazy audio rate modulations of the wave shape. Okay. We have the same control if we push index and the LFO button at the top. That assigns to the... Um, rectification so completely different sound but really cool and we can assign to both and it goes crazy and because these are tenuverters we can have them working in opposition to each other also do this with the lower oscillator. It's the same idea, um, except we're assigning the top to the bottom. So we can take index and push the sub button. Now we're assigned to the wave folder here. <laughs> and because these tuned so differently, you get very different results when you're doing this. Same thing with the rectification. And we can do both at the same time. And then if you want to go for the whole way, we can assign pitch to something, and then we get stuff happening. For me, that's just hours of fun, and you know, maybe I'm just like a crazy person. Um, but I hope this gives you some ideas. You know, obviously, you can have all four going at once and do some crazy cross modulation stuff. Here, let's go. And we can even like take uh, take that pitch sequence and plug it into the CV of the index. And then we can we're sort of like modulating the index knob. So if I turn down the clock. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> um, so yeah, there's a lot you can do here. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope that gives you something to play with.